Hello, let's play another game of Power Up. Today we will play the arcade mode, uh, the Save the VIPs uh, mission. Uh, in this mode, the Bugbusters must protect three uh, VIPs, uh, these tokens. Uh, and the objective of the bug mistress is to uh, destroy these three VIPs by eating them. Um, the game is played in a total of eight rounds, so you can keep track uh, using the bug turn cycle, moving uh, a token uh, on it every turn the both sides have played. Uh, so to set up, uh, normally you set up a 4x3 board, so with 12 tiles. So in this case you would need another 4 tiles at the top. Um, but for this uh, demo purpose I chose to only uh, include uh, 8 tiles, so 2x4. So everything uh, was in frame. Um, so first you set up the board, uh, then at the top you set up everything for the bug mistress. So uh, the bug cards and the spawn cards. Um, on the back you will see the cost of these cards. And you will see that the first two are free, so these are uh, available in the beginning. That's the buggy and uh, the bad bug. Uh, the bug mistress will need to spend uh, extra points to activate more bugs to be able to spawn them. Um, in this case we're playing a two bug busters uh, versus one bug mistress game. So uh, in the beginning there will be two burpees. Two burps. Um, and they will spawn on the left side of the board. And uh, the bug mistress can choose where to place them. For example, let's place one here and one here. Um, she can choose anywhere in these uh, two tiles in this case. And the bugbusters will spawn on this on the right side of the board, and they can choose again uh, any square on the uh, right hand side of the last tiles. Um, so let's spawn one here and oh wait before we spawn the bug busters we have to spawn uh, pow tokens uh, so for every tile uh, you the bug mistress can place uh, one pow token uh, in this case it's eight but in the real game you should place uh, 12 uh, pow tokens so every tile can have one pow uh, let's place one here this tile let's place it here uh, here 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 that one yeah so now the uh, bugbusters can spawn um bu -bu -bu. Mr. Gore will start here and Red will start here. So they can in the first turn already have a POW uh, token. Next you will uh, spawn the VIPs also on the side of the uh, uh, Bugbusters. So let's spawn one here, here and Um, next, uh, every Bugbuster will start with four coins initially. Uh, they can use those coins to buy extra weapons or uh, mercenaries if you have the uh, Mercs add-on. Uh, what's next? Um, yes, uh, the players can choose which Bugbuster they uh, choose, uh, already chose to. And each bugbuster gets uh, three hearts, the number of uh, reaction tokens that is displayed on their card, 
and the number of ammo tokens uh, is displayed and those are active all of them uh, both bug boxers get a helper card and a score card if you want to keep score uh, to see which bug buster did the most damage um, and then we can start the game uh, the game starts with the um, bug mistress uh, she can draw one card for each bug buster that is in the game so in this case two so let's draw two cards and then she can um, spawn new bugs or she can activate other bugs to spawn uh, but in the first turn let's just spawn uh, some bugs uh, in the cards you can see a number here and you can use uh, the same font is used for um, the activation and for the spawn cost next to the name so a buggy costs one and a bad bug costs two so let's use this six card and spawn um, four buggies and one bad bug so we spend this one and spawn four buggies and two and one bad bug how does spawning works um, if you have burps on the board uh, they spit out uh, the new bugs so one by one so this one spits out one then another and pushes this one or you can just place it like this uh, then a next so these two get pushed so technically this one goes here but I'll just place it here and then gravity kicks in so this one falls down one and then the last one comes out and sits on its head and then we have a uh, flying bad bug so he can fly he comes out of this mouth and he can just stay in the air because he's a flying uh, monster um, if the uh, bugs come out of it uh, if they just spawn uh, they can't activate so just turn them sideways uh, to indicate that they are fresh on the board um, if you have in the second turn they will activate and you can move them but in the first uh, activation so we're in round one it's a spawn phase um, You can't uh, move them just yet uh, and what do we still we still have another card left um, either we can keep this uh, for the next round or we can already spend four points to activate uh, one of the other uh, bugs let's for example uh, activate this uh, bisphilus or how do you pronounce that um, this is a two-faced uh, monster uh, he, he can be attacked uh, from behind because he has back eye he has two faces um, but he costs four points to spawn so next turn we can uh, spawn this uh, this new bug uh, that's the end of the uh, bug mistress turn and now the uh, bug busters can go So let's start with Red. She will go into the power store. That's one action. And in the arcade mode, it's the same as in story. Uh, when you enter a power up, uh, you turn it off. And if uh, another one was already turned off, it uh, activates. So you draw a POW card, and she has player paws. She can use it, so she spends one reaction. Uh, and she cannot be attacked to, until the uh, end of the turn so just let's just keep this for now and then she can spend she has four coins so she can uh, buy some uh, items from the store um, for this demo I added some uh, mercenaries uh, to explain this also a bit um, just like the uh, the weapon cards, uh, you can buy mercenaries uh, when you enter a POW store 
um, in Cotre, unlike the uh, weapon cards, you only place three mercenaries in the store. Uh, so in this case, we have these three, um, but we only have four coins, so we can't buy these. Um, an interesting point is that uh, the backmasters can also buy uh, mercenaries and use them. Uh, like you can see here, uh, the brothers cost eight uh, bug points and can only be bought by the bug mistress. But Ronnie can be bought by the bug mistress and by the bug buster for eight coins or eight bug points. Um, if you buy one, they uh, spawn next to, uh, to the character that's in the PAL store or they can come out of the burps um, in case the bug mistress buys them. Uh, they also have melee and ranged attack. They have unlimited ammo, and uh, but they don't have any reaction points like the bug, mis uh, bug busters have. Um, and once they die, they are removed from the games. They can be revived. Uh, they cannot enter power stores or they cannot use uh, doors. They c they work like bugs uh, in that way. Um, so they are very powerful with their attacks, but they are kind of limited in their actions. Uh, in this case, the Brussels has a melee of one uh, yellow and two white. And the same for ranged. He has a range of five and has two hearts. Uh, dun -dun. That's about it. And Ronnie only has one life, um, but he's, a, he's about the same price. But he's fast, so we can move uh, two tiles instead of one for, uh, by spending one action point. They both uh, all mercenaries have a, uh, has four action points, uh, but they can't use any uh, reaction points. So let's see what we can buy uh, for four coins. Uh, that's the eyeglasses. Uh, if we do a ranged attack, we add one one white die. So maybe uh, we can use that for uh, red here. Spend the four. And a new weapon is drawn and added to the store. So that was our first action. Now we have three left. So let's move back. Two, three. Uh, this is an automatic elevator. We go up. And now we have one more left. And uh, we move in the same tile as a uh, friendly token. If this was uh, another bug buster, that bug buster would choose what happens. Either red is pushed forward one or um, the character is pushed forward or backwards. Uh, but in this case, uh, red can choose. So we choose to move forward one. So that's a free action. And we are uh, ready to defend this uh, VIP. Uh, next, we're going to move uh, Mr. Gore here. He jumps into the power store. This deactivates and the deactivated activates again. We draw a power card. And this is a barrier grenade. By spending one ammo token, we can place a, a barrier in front of us and that acts as a shield um, which has two um, sh armor points and uh, has normally three hit points so you need to do three uh, hits on it before it's destroyed but uh, during an attack it has two shields That's, that could be useful to uh, defend the NPCs um, there's nothing in the store for four coins, so we just have to uh, wait here. Um, we still have two more actions left. So one, two, we're going uh, forward to attack in the next round. And now uh, we can also activate these NPCs. They only have two actions. So let's uh, move back. Uh, this one, this one goes back one. 
gravity kicks in so he falls down and he's going to hide in this alley and this one is going to go down as well and back one So that's the end of the uh, Bugbuster's turn. Now the uh, Bugmistress activates, so she's going to activate all the spawned uh, monsters. She draws two cards again. Uh, both with eight points. Uh, what are we going to do? Either we can uh, use this event to deactivate three how uh, tokens so let's do that that's a very powerful card so we're going to play this and deactivate three pows so we're going to deactivate this one this one and this one next we have uh, eight more points left I'm um, just reading here. Uh, first, we activate the bugs. So before spawning new bugs, you should uh, activate the uh, the current bugs we have. Um, so the bad bug has five action points, and uh, of those five, we can attack attack once, either a melee attack or a range attack uh, with a range of two. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four. There's no one in range. Uh, so let's go up. No, let's go here. So we're just not in range of this uh, NPC. Otherwise, we could have attacked it. So this one has activated. Uh, and we're going to put it face down. Now the buggies are, in, uh, are activated. Um, let's use the team 4 ability to make them a bit more powerful and uh, group them. Let's make a group of 3. So this one is going to go here. And now we have a group of uh, 3 buggies. And they can move in groups. So 1, 2, 3. Hmm. Just stay here for now, and this buggy will go one, two, three. No, so one, two, three, four. Oh, these has ac have activated, and now we can use. Oops these eight points to uh, spawn new uh, bugs let's spawn uh, this guy over here he costs four so we need so we can spawn two of them let's see so we have these bigger tokens it comes out of this one and hmm, let's just do one and then we have four more left. Let's spawn two more bad bugs out of this guy. These are also activated. That's the end of the uh, bug store. So we're now at round two. The bugs, bu bug busters can start and maybe attack some, uh, some bugs. So let's just turn them this so we know which way they are facing let's start with uh, mr gore here um he has a range of three and has four ammo so let's first attack this uh, single buggy and it's a miss too bad let's try again because why not? That's better. Now we have uh, three hits. One would have been enough. Oops. That buggy dies and drops two coins. Hmm. 
and so we did two actions one and let's do a melee attack that's one hit and the buggies are with three so they can do a defense with the three white dice and that's defended successfully um, bum, bum, bum. let's spend the reaction token to just move forward one and pick up this coin next let's move some npcs out of the way so we can move backwards one two three four and so we're going to switch places and let's spend a reaction token to shoot at the flying bad bug since we have eyeglasses and we're doing a ranged attack we can add one white die to our roll so we roll three dice and it's a miss that sucks <sighs> yeah just that's the end of uh, the bug buster's turn again we draw two cards Uh, both are six points this one allows our bugs to move twice as fast and this one um, forces the bug buster to all players discard one pow card or one player to discard two pow cards but first let's move our bugs so the flying bad bug will go one and red will use a reaction token to shoot again with three dice and that's a clear hit so this one dies and it drops uh, three coins right here and then we have these bugs Either we can attack Gore or we can move in to destroy the VIPs. Since we only have 8 rounds, it's better to go for the uh, VIPs. So let's go 1, 2, 3, we fall down, and then we can attack. So we are with 3 uh, buggies, so we roll 3 dice and we have two hits possible hits red can defend with one Oops, one uh, white die and that's very lucky uh, she defended the attack so these bugs have activated next we can move this guy he has four actions and two attacks so one two three and then he's going to attack two times he rolls four white dice that's one hit uh, gore has two white dice for defense that's a miss so we lose one heart then no no we can do a second attack because we only have four action points and we already moved three times so we did uh, one two three and then the fourth action was our attack so unfortunately we cannot attack again this one activated and now we're going to fly one two three four five and one two three four five So let's activate or spawn some more annoying bugs. Um, let's use one card 
to uh, activate uh, Brussels. He's a nasty guy. He's immune to fire attacks and rolls uh, one white and one yellow die for both ranged and melee attack. And let's use the six points to spawn him. And let's spawn him here. And he already activated. So that's the end of the Bug Mistress turn. It's round three now. And now the Bug Busters can go again. So Red is in a bit of a pickle here. She's going to have to uh, attack. Let's do the one on her head first. Um, that's two hits. Since we're doing a ranged attack, they cannot defense, defend. And we did two skulls, so we only have one heart. So one of them dies. And we automatically get two coins because they drop down on our head. And hmm. let's move these fall down, turn around, and then attack with one die. And that's a fail. Let's use a reaction point to do that again, and it fails again. Right, Mr. Gore. Mm. Mr. Gore is going to retreat, I guess. This is a safer option. So let's move one. Then use this door to go to this one and push this one over here. Oops. And if you use a, uh, a door, you can choose which uh, direction you're facing. So let's face that way. So we can attack those bugs. This, this door is turned off. We can't use it until we use another one. And let's do a melee attack of two, we hit one. Two coins fall down here. So we did one, two, three, we can attack one more time. And we killed the final buggy. And let's just move this one forward. And now it's the Bug Mistress turn again. So we draw two cards. We have Creeper or Explosive Gas. Um, explosive Gas. Uh, during one turn you cannot do a ranged attack and for creeper um, movement is slowed down so a move costs two action points and a jump costs four action points let's just keep these and move our bugs so we have the flying buggies they will do a uh, they can do one attack <clears throat> Let's first move this one. One, two, three. And then they can attack. So if this one is uh, successful, which it is, we successfully destroyed one VIP. And we still have two left. Next, we can attack 
um, red from behind but she will use a reaction point to turn around so she can do a defense roll as well so it's a hit and the defense is also a hit so we defended successfully next the uh, Bicephalus has four actions so one two falls down three four and our Brassas also have has four actions so let's go one two three ah. Da -da -da. No. one two three four and let's spawn some more bad guys so the flying monsters are very useful let's spawn some more of those we only have two more uh, of these tokens left so we can spawn two of them that's four points uh, let's just use both of them then we can spawn to 12 points oh this is four one oh yeah also for God you can also move these uh, burps forward and use them uh, to attack uh, but I li like to keep them uh, back a bit um, because once they are destroyed you can't spawn any more uh, bugs uh, during the game so we spent four uh, points already now we have Eight more left. Let's spawn another uh, of this guy here. Uh, and some more buggies. So four, six, eight, and four more buggies. So we're going to push this guy one. Two, he falls down. Three and four. So that's the end of the Bugmister's turn. Now the Bugbusters can go again. So let's start with Gore. He's going to fall down. And if you fall, you can also choose which direction. You go, so we're automatically uh, doing a switch. And he also has some uh, ammo left, so we can shoot uh, this guy over here. So we're going to use that for two. That's a hit, so this one dies as well. And we have the money. And three points here that's two points so three four next uh, she's going to attack with one die it's a fail again it's a double hit and the defense is nothing, so this one dies. And three coins. And she has one more action left. She's going to use it to rest and restore one uh, reaction point. Okay. Turn five. Draw two cards. You can use the surprise card uh, to activate any bug and give it three action points, or you can uh, evolve one uh, big bug to a uh, Bicephalus 
but we don't have any uh, big bugs so we should use this one to spawn so first let's move some more bugs let's fly one two three four five one two three four five okay this one will go one two three and attack it can attack once so it's four white dice and that's a definite hit so we already have two that's great four action points so one two three and then we can attack red um, we're going to attack with a ranged attack so she can roll for defense we roll a white and a yellow and that's one hit because uh, two skulls equals one heart we only have four action points and one attack which we used so this one has activated this one as well and next let's go one two three fall down and block that way and let's do the grouping again. One, oh, this one falls down. Um, we could end the game by playing this one. Just gonna read the surprise attack to be sure. So on page 37, you can read all the explanation of power and the bug cards. If you're not sure what a card does, so for this case, the surprise says activate any bug from the board and give it X amount of actions to use instantly. So let's use this on uh, this bug and give it three actions. So one, then we're going to attack and that's four whites. And if this is a hit, which this is not, god damn it. <laughs> that's kind of the worst roll you can do. So it's a failed attack. So the game is not over yet. We can still use this one to spawn four points of bugs. And four. So let's spawn two more fly bugs right here. And we're at turn five. So the bugbusters really need to step up the game and start defending. So go one, two, and then attack. Or oh, he's going to shoot down so he cannot roll for defense. Oops. God damn it. That's a good hit. Since we roll three skulls we do two hearts of damage which is just enough to kill this guy and save the final NPC this one dies and leaves six coins behind um, so one two three Let's just collect these coins. 
and now red <laughs> um red is going to one two three four And she's going to wait there. She really needs a powerful weapon for a melee attack. So she's going to a POW token. But she can't reach it for now. So that's the end of the Bug's turn. Bugbuster's turn. Next it's turn 8. S5, uh, sorry. Uh, draw two more cards. Uh, we can evolve a buggy to a big bug or we can use a thief buggy so if a buggy is next to a bug buster it can steal a weapon instead of attacking but where are we so let's go one two three and one hmm. let's keep him there Just gonna keep this guy over here, otherwise he's in the way. Um, the Brassas has four actions, so one, two, three, and then he can attack with a ranged attack. Ouch. That's a four skull hit, so that's two hearts of damage for Gore over here. So he is knocked out. Uh, when a player is knocked out uh, He can be revived by another bugbuster or he can use the continue um, If you have enough money to continue uh, the first time it costs four coins, which he has enough of um, Then he can respawn the next turn. So let's just wait for now and see what the other box will do so one two three one two Okay, and what do we have left? So we can either use these cards or we can activate. Let's activate the uh, bug dozer. He cost eight. We have two more points left. Uh, so we can spawn two more buggies and they are going to spawn here right bugbuster's turn so red is too far away from uh, gore so first let's activate her and go for a pow token so one two three four Then we can activate this one. She gets a POW card, the teleport, which would be very useful. Mm -hmm. 
by spending one reaction token you can teleport to an active uh, POW token uh, and you deactivate it uh, once you teleport there. We already have two letters, the E and the I. So we only need two more, the P and the C, to form the word EPIC. Um, and now Gore, he can pay four coins to continue. Uh, this one goes up, so the next time you want to use a continue it will cost eight. The third time it will cost 16 and the fourth time it costs 28 and then it's game over. So we use it once, the next time it's 8. And now uh, Gore can respawn on any uh, active POW token, so I think it's better to use this one and come back here. And he restores full health. Oh, it's gore. So full health. He has all his reaction and full ammo again. Oh, I also forgot to buy a weapon for Red. So she has eight coins. He's going to buy the uh, chainsaw for melee attacks. Do -do -do. Um, so we did a continue, now we can move, so one, we switch place, places, two, no, I'm just going to shoot as many times as I can, so one, it's one hit, the Brothos is immune to fire attacks, but it's a normal attack. Uh, we did two skulls, so we only have one heart of damage. Put a heart token on it. We still need one more hit. So let's do that. And the final hit, which is better, the Brothos dies. And he drops eight coins. And that's the end of the bug buster's turn. So the seventh turn, the bugs can move and attack. Um, you can use raids to add one yellow die. To a ranged or melee attack or you can also use the teleport to teleport a buggy uh, any monster on the board to a pow token and deactivate that token but only the only active or here so that's not really that interesting so instead let's just attack oh, this one falls down Let's group to four, then move down, turn around and attack. So we have four white dice. That's two hits. And for defense, we roll nothing. So that's one heart of damage. Uh, and we should push back, but we can't. Um, damn it. One, two, these can't move in. This one will go here. Let's just move the burp over there, and he will do a melee attack. Two whites and two yellows. And that's a horrible roll. So 
so the attack fails and let's spawn some monsters we don't have enough points for the bug dozer he's 14 points we only have 12 so let's just keep those cards I forgot to move these so one two three And then the final turn. Gore will attack. Let's do melee first. It fails. Then a melee. Denied. Two more actions, failed attack, two hits, one gets through, so we one dies and we have a pushback, which I forgot, um, we need to have a pushback of two, no one, sorry. So we push this one back, this one back, and this one back. And that's the final attack. So Red will do attack on a burp with her chainsaw. So that's one white, two whites and one yellow. That's four, which does two hearts. So oh, oh. the burp has two shields. So one of this one is denied and we still have one heart left. So he has one heart of damage. And then the final turn of the burps, which is useless, I think, because we can't reach this NPC. So it's game over and the Bugbusters win.